With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The radius of curvature of a curved surface of a plano convex lens is 20 cm. If the refractive index of the material of the lens be 1.5, it will. So here uh, they are saying about a plano convex lens. I think you know about a plano convex lens. So this will be a plano convex lens. So let me write it more correctly. Okay. So a plano convex lens, you can draw it like this. A one surface will be a plane surface and the other surface will be a convex surface. So this lens will be a plano convex lens. This is what you call it as a plano convex lens. So you have two surfaces. No, this will be R1 and this will be R2. The radius of curvature of the plane surface we will write it as R1 and with second surface we will write it as R2. So this R1 and R2 will vary depending on the object, where the object lies. If the object is on the left side, no, if the object is here, then this becomes R1 and this becomes R2. The same way if the object is kept here. And in this case, this becomes R1 and this becomes R2, correct? And we know that uh, the radius of curvature of a plane surface will be equal to infinity. So let us do it for both the cases and verify what is happening in both, okay? So first condition will say that um, the object is uh, on the left side. Object on left side we consider, okay? Which means the object is here. So if the object is on the left side, you can say it R1 is equal to infinity and R2 they have given no, the radius of curvature, they have given it as uh, 20 centimeter, right? Plano convex lens is 20 centimeters. So R2 we will take it as 20 centimeter and that we will write it as minus. Now using lens makers formula, it is 1 by F is equal to N minus 1 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. So substituting the values over it, you get it as 1 by f is equal to n. They have given the refractive index value is 1.5. So it is 1.5 minus 1 into 1 by infinity plus 1 by 20. So from this 1 by f will be equal to 0 0.5 into 1 by infinity is 0 into 1 by 20. So from this you can write the value of f as 40 centimeter so this becomes the focal length if you are keeping the object on the left side and from this from seeing to this value you can say that the lens behaves as convex lens correct because you have got focal length as positive it behaves as convex lens so this is the first situation object on the left side next same way we will take the object on the right side okay so object when you are taking on right side, that is you can say the object is here. If you are placing the object here, what happens to the focal length we shall see. So for the same equation, we will substitute the values of R1 and R2, only R1 and R2 changes. Here R1 becomes 20 centimeter and R2 becomes minus infinity. So now when you are substituting it, 1 by f will be equal to 1.5 minus 1 into 1 by 20 plus 1 by infinity and it is 0. So f once again here, you will get it as 40 centimeter itself because see here, you will get 1 by f as 0 0.5 into 1 by 20 which is similar. No? So f will be 20, 40 centimeter and once again here also it behaves as a convex lens. So you can say it like when it is behaving as a convex lens on both the surfaces, the focal length will be 40 cm and irrespective of the position, whether you are keeping the object on the left side or on the right side, the object behaves as a convex lens. So you can say option uh, 3 will be the right answer. It acts as a convex lens irrespective of the side on which the object lies. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEAT level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.